Hey y'all, this is Zoe. Um, so don't mind my hair. I just took my hair out yesterday. So the braid out looks kind of whatever right now. I gotta wash it, <laughs> even though it looks good like this though, but <laughs> I gotta wash it cause it's crusty and all types of whatever. So I'm gonna just show you guys my, um, my PS4 collection because I'm cleaning out that section anyway so I was like you know what let me show my collection so I'm gonna show you my physical because I'm more of a physical person than a digital so then I'm gonna show you my digital after so here we go so uh, my favorite game in general is Kingdom Hearts like that's just point blank period um kingdom hearts 3 was like a disappointment like i'm just so mad about that but this is the i have all the i have all the kingdom hearts 3 games except for melody because i was slacking and i was just i'm gonna get it soon though but i'm gonna get that for the switch so anyway so here is the hearts 2 um Final chapter prologue. This came with the box and it came with the Disney collectible pin. So it's basically the HD version of uh, Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, Birth by Sleep, and then they had the back cover X as the movie. So yeah, I don't remember when this came out, but. I really enjoyed Birth by Sleep, the 0 0.2 one. It was like, the graphics were amazing, so that was like the, you know, explaining to you what the graphics are gonna be like in Kingdom Hearts 3, so, yeah. And then I got Kingdom Hearts 3, the Deluxe Addiction Edition. And, I mean, I give it a, the graphics that were amazing, but the story, why I don't understand. I mean, I understand, but the story was just all over the place and there was just so many flaws about this game that just got me so tight. But I'm not gonna get over it. I'm not gonna go into it with my rant about this game. But it was fun though, I'm not gonna lie. It was just not easy, even on um, proud mode. And I'd be there on proud mode. I think they have, they have another one. No, I think it was just proud. But yeah, this is the um the box. So this one comes with it comes with the steelbook case, the art book, and the collectible pen. So this is Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, this is um Catherine. This um originally came out for the PS3, which I have. So this is yeah, I gave it away because I was bored, I didn't know. I just gave it away, traded it in GameStop, and I got like a little bit of money. Not even barely. But this is Kaplan Full Body. It comes with additional uh, story, which is her. Her. <laughs> um, so, it was all right. I still gotta replay it because I just played it once and that was it. But, yeah. Um, this was... Don't know how to pronounce his name, but this is one of the first few games I got for the PS4. It was at GameStop. Oh my God, the lightning, what is going on? It's basically like a fighting fan service game. I guess you could say it's like Devil May Cry, but female fan service, boobs all out, bikini and all that, but it was fun. I think it's a sequel to some other game for the PC, PC or something. I don't know. And I got this game, Zero, Zero Time Dilemma, at GameStop. Uh, I think it came out for the DS. One of the one of the um, franchises came out for the DS, so it's basically a decision game. Um, decision game. You have to solve like who it's basically like so in a way so it was cool i got this this was like 
me, this is game of the year. Game of the year when this first came out. Oh my god. This is one of my favorite games on PS4. Ghost of Tashima. If I'm saying it right. Tashima. Tashima. But yeah. This is so great. I love this game. And I think they're coming out with a sequel. And it's going to be a different character. So. I got this. This was trash. <laughs> oh my god. Avengers. What the heck. Yo. Such a waste of money. I paid the full price when this came out. And I regret it. Oh my god, I don't even play this anymore. Even with the um new DLC that comes out, Black Panther and all that. I might go back into this just for those, but this was trash. Like I have <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm gonna get the one for PS5 when I get a PS5. <clears throat> August for my birthday. I'm gonna save money and buy my own. Or whatever. But Horizon Zero Dawn was a good ass game. I recommend it before you get the second one for PS5. The PS5 the graphics look amazing for this game. And I think it's basically like someone says like Far Cry, I guess, in a way. But it's like with machines. But it's pretty cool. I would rate this uh 8.5. And I got Diablo. I didn't play the other ones. But this was fun, so I think they're coming. Yeah, they're coming out with a another one, probably for PS5. But yeah, Diablo, Reaper of Souls, and I got this. <laughs> I never played the first one. I just bought it because I thought it was cool, but it was kind of fun. I just don't know the references in the game. Um. Don't ask me why I got this. <laughs> oh my god, and it was only um, with the membership, $17 basically. <laughs> I got Detroit Become Human. This was a good game. It's the same company, Quant Quantum Dream, that made Heavy Rain. And I think they made, um, what's the one what? Dang, oh, no, I forgot. Uh, I don't remember and I had the game I don't know it was, it's with the girl that can control with her mind and stuff Beyond Two Souls okay so I think it's the same company I made that too but this was good it's basically in a way talks about racism in a way because they're robots um androids and humans don't really like the androids and it's like kind of racist in a way because they're still kind of human but they're not so they treat them like like slaves and trash or whatever but i think it's it's not expensive now it shouldn't be so uh, do, 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 do. and i got the uncharted game series um uncharted the collection so it has one two and three and then i got uncharted the lost legacy which is supposed to be which is technically a dlc so no you cannot see because of this light oh my god that is so bad <laughs> And um, Uncharted, A Thief's End, so this is the last game of the series. So they were both cool, both fun, great story. Yeah. Love Crash Bandicoot. I'm a 90s baby, so I already have Crash Bandicoot for the PlayStation 1 and PS2. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna get it for PS4, you already know. So I got... Crash Bandicoot Collection 1, 2, and 3. Boy, you cannot see shit. And then I got Crash Bandicoot 4, which I never played. I never played 4 and 3. Was it 4 and 3? No. 4 and 2. I don't have that. And I got Crash Team Racing 
basically. Which is a remake of Crash Team Racing for the PlayStation 1. And I think they're making a um, Crash Bash. So let me get that too. I uh, have Dead or Alive. Don't ask me to play no fighting game because I'm trash. <laughs> and I got Dead or Alive 6. And I got King of Fighters. And I'm going to get the new one that comes out. Once again, don't ask me to play because I'm shit and trash in fighting games. <laughs> well, Z Fighters. I have to get back into it. I just stopped playing after I beat the game and all that other stuff. And I have Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I have to get back to this because of the DLC and I'm like way behind. I think they came out with um, Trunks and some, something else back into this. And I have Final Fantasy Dissidia because I had the original ones for the, was it the 3DS? No. It was the DS. No, it was the 3DS, I think. And this is the city. Of, I did not beat this game because, yo, it. I don't understand. I don't know how to explain it. I think it just lagged and like it was just weird. But I have to finish this game. I just stopped playing it. And this is Final Fantasy: The Zodiac Age which is basically a remake of the original PS2. I stopped playing this, I didn't beat this one. I think I'm near the end further than I did in the original PS2 game. Yeah. Well, I think people said that this is the worst game of Final Fantasy and I don't, I don't know. I have Final Fantasy Online Stormblood I'm still on this one. I'm not. I didn't get past it. <laughs> I'm still on this one. I've I just been slacking. And I have Shadowbringers, which I did not beat. So I gotta do this first in order to get this one. And then I have to catch up and get the new one that's coming soon. So yeah, I've been slacking on Final Fantasy a lot. Final Fantasy was this 14. Final Fantasy 15. So I originally had the just the basic cover, but this one not gave me this one. But this was given to me the case with the movie Kingsglaive. So this game it was okay. I mean. It was way, way too hype for this game. It was so rushed and... Yeah, just no comment. <laughs> no comment. Naruto Ninja Storm 4. So I have all the other Ninja Storms for the PS3. So I just have to get this one. And it was just the last boss. Oh my god. So annoying. It's the one where you gotta fight the 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 tail beast. Yo, I was stuck on that for a long time. It was so annoying. But it was pretty good. I did not get the borrow to I think there's a borrow to audition or something. I don't got time for that. I got soul caliber. Soul caliber. I got Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I didn't play the, did I play the other ones? I think I did and I got bored. But this one looked interesting, so I just got this one. It was all right. I mean, it is way better than this one. Oh my God, this one, so laggy, so annoying. Just, uh, I beat the game. I just gotta do the DLC. Just, ugh. I was just trying to rush through that game because that annoyed the hell out of me. And I got Spyro. So I love Spyro just as much as I love Crash Bandicoot. So I had to get Spyro. This is the collection. It comes Spyro Dread. 
dragon, spiral reptiles rage, and spiral year of the dragon. So that's one, two, and three. And fracture and clink. I gotta get the one for the PS5, so I'm tight about that because I don't got a PS5, so I can't play the next fracture and clink game. So I gotta wait. But I already have this one for the PS2, so yeah. And I got this Lion King and Aladdin classic games. I never played the original one, but I heard it was hard as hell. So I just had to, I just had to buy it. So I beat the Aladdin one hard. I beat a Lion King. I mean, did I beat Lion King? Nope, because that crap was hard as hell. Now I know why people said this game was hard. I was like, nope, I'm not even gonna try. I mean, I tried, but I'm not gonna beat it. And I got the SpongeBob, Battle for Bikini Bottom, the remake. I played the original one when I used to go on vacation um, when I was younger. So I just got this one. I mean, it was fun. And I got Charles of Mana. This is the second game that I played that's a mana game. I have Dawn of Mana for PS2. So this one is fun. It's just the voice acting is just what are you doing? But it was fun. I mean you can you have to play it multiple times to get the different endings. So I played it once because you're playing as six characters obviously so and I have Persona 5 never played any Persona games so my friend told me to borrow it and she just gave it to me well my friend Ebs she gave this to me cause she already had the she bought the new one with the, the girl I don't know I'm not a Persona 5 I'm not a Persona um so it was it was cool I guess I mean you know after I, I had the Persona 5 I had to get the sequel so I got the sequel I just didn't get it physical even though I like physical copies I just I was like you know what let me just get the digital because I don't feel like waiting so I just got the digital and I got well someone gave me this as a free game and when I went to um E3 like three years ago so I was like, okay, free game. So I played it. I guess it was okay. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. And I got Resident Evil 6. I already have this for, did this come out for PS3? I don't know. I don't think so. But yeah, I got Resident Evil 6. Trash, trash, trash. Resident Evil 5 was so much better. I'm not a Resident Evil um, fan, but I know the lore. I didn't play the... Oh yeah, I did play. I played Resident Evil 4 and I played Resident Evil 2. I played Resident Evil games before, but I just didn't own it because I'm scared of horror games. I'll watch you play it and I'll play it with you, but I'm not playing this by myself. <laughs> I'm just saying. So... That's all my physical copy, so I'm gonna show y'all my digital. So I just beat this game, and the gameplay was so trash. I mean, the story was interesting, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna delete this game because I already beat it. So I'm gonna show you my fighting games. Oh, okay, so this is the digital one. Well, the combat, um, I beat the game. I'm just doing the finishing the characters and then I'm gonna play Mortal Kombat. The next Mortal Kombat, I think it's 11. And yeah, cause I'm trash. So <laughs> I just play for story and just attempt to be good even though I'm trash. Do I have, yeah. Okay, Street Fighter, digital game. Um, I'm garbage. <laughs> just no questions about that I'm garbage so I just got this the Ninja Gaiden uh, collection 
oh boy the um the original one and i heard it's hard as fuck so yeah i am getting pissed off about this game but i'm trying though i'm just been spamming and going on the walls and doing all types of nonsense but got Red Dead Redemption 2. I didn't play the first one. It's pretty fun. Uh, I guess it's like San Andreas in a way. But country, you know, type cowboy stuff. And I'm always dying, so <laughs> I suck at this game. I'm not really a good uh, <laughs> type of Grand Theft Auto kind of person. I mean, I played San Andreas back in the day, and I was trash. I just used to punch people. So... <laughs> When I play the demo, I might get this, so. And I got Virtual Fighter. Um, I gotta finish this, cause I just tested it out. I didn't really play it yet, so I gotta play this. And this is just a collection for Ninja Gaiden. It has one, two, and three. Uh, so I got The Witcher 3. I beat this already, didn't play the one and two. And I really liked Witcher 3, it was just not my type of gameplay controls I would say I'm not really used to that type of gameplay but I really like the story and uh, the role playing and the uh, you know the story and stuff like that so um yeah and I got four guys I haven't played that in a while I just stopped playing it but it was fun and I got this I stopped playing it but I beat the game oh shoot <laughs> better weeboo but it was fun i had this one for ps1 but i stopped playing it so i got the remastered one um so this one i'm at the end and i just stopped playing because i don't even know i'm like right at the end of the boss so I might try again. So this is Harry Potter Lego. <laughs> so I'm a Harry Potter fan, so I just buy everything Harry Potter. So there'll be probably a video coming up of my Harry Potter collection or whatever. But it was fun. I got overcooked. I stopped playing it. It's a fun game. You can play with your friend who's over your house. And I got The Walking Dead Final Season. I already played all and have all The Walking Dead um, Telltale games. So, this is the final season. So, I have Killing Floor 2. Um, sometimes I play it with my friends. But, yeah, it's pretty fun. Star Ocean, I stopped playing. <laughs> this is the type of game that you cannot stop playing. Because if you stop playing, you will forget where you're at. It does not tell you where to go. So, I know I have to start over again. So, this is my second time starting over. So, and this came with the Final Fantasy um, 15 game. And I stopped playing this too. So, I'm just going to probably play replay this just to get this out the way. And that's all my digital games. Some of the games that are in my library are like people let me borrow. So like Nier or what is it? The other one? I don't know. Another game. So those are just games that people let me borrow. But yeah, that's all my PS4 collections. So if y'all know any other good games I should get, let me know. So, thank y'all for watching. Bye!